Hey everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to part four of my Fate Stay Night Heaven's Feel Let's Play. Last episode was pretty crazy because we had the first death of a uh, servant in the Holy Grail War and it happened very, very quickly. Uh, Shinji actually popped up with Ryder and was just like immediately taken out by Saber. And then Shinji's grandfather, uh, can't remember what his name is. He came out basically was like, you're a failure. I didn't expect much from you, but you managed to disappoint me. Uh, Shinji ran off with his tail between his legs. But I feel like this isn't going to be the last we see of him. If not him, then the Mato family. I'm guessing Sakura is going to somehow be able to join the Holy Grail War. Or maybe she's going to be used as some sort of pawn. Because uh, the grandfather was like, oh, there's no way that Sakura can be part of the Holy Grail War. And I feel like the more they were saying that, the more I'm like, ooh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and we also had a right towards the end, Iliasville popped up and wants to have a little chat with Shiro. So that is where we left off. So we're going to talk to her and, uh, you know, see what she has to say. So uh, let's just jump right back into it. There is no one in the park. Nobody's playing in the sand pit or on the swings. It feels desolate, but I sit down on a bench with Ilya. This must look weird to other people. Ilya is a foreigner, so we don't look like siblings, and our ages are too far apart to be friends. Ilya. <sighs> Well, how should I react to this incomprehensible girl? Ilya, I'm あ、今のは言い方が悪かった。妙がなくても話はできる。むしろ、世の I'm sure Ilya has a lot of questions about her father and about, you know, considering that they're siblings or, well, not really. They're not actually siblings. They're not blood siblings anyway. It's almost like a step sibling situation, except not quite. But yeah, she must feel a little bit of resentment that he got to have his father around and even though he's like not actually his father and she didn't. あ、なんとか。俺のがお兄ちゃんなんだから大人な対応を努力する。そっか。じゃあ、白。私のこと好き。ま、誰だって呆れるぞ、今のは。お前ら人をぶった切っておいて好きか嫌いかもないだろう。何よ、あれは違うもん。白が弱っていくせに飛び出してくるからじゃない。私は悪くなんてないんだから。悪くないわけあるか
Shiro. Ilya looks down, trembling. <sighs> I guess I have no choice. I'm the one who started this whole master conversation. I'm the only... Uh, uh, sorry, I am the older one here, and Ilya is a girl. <clears throat> uh, Ilya. I prepare myself for what I have to say. I... Oh, okay. Whoops, this kind of caught me off guard. Um, I wasn't expecting. I'm guessing I probably want to say I don't hate you, but I just got to double check. All right, so as expected, I want to pick. I don't hate you. Shiriatabakari あ、それと、あの夜のことは今後一切口にしない。こんな約束しかできないけど、それで信じてもらえるか。シロがそう言うなら信じてあげる。Ilya tackles me and embraces my arm again. I complain, but I accept it. It's not bad. I don't feel any hostility from her. Her hugging me won't kill me, and it wouldn't be older brother-like to panic now. I guess I'll have to talk with her, just like she wants. My talk with Ilya lasts for about an hour. She listens to my pointless rambling and mundane stories. Since when did it start getting painful? She's an innocent girl. She's a master and has no doubts about it. I think her lack of fear about going into battle is sad. The family of Magi called Einsburn. She's sent out as the greatest master, a, resu a result of their thousand-year-old history. If that is Ilya's goal, then- Ilya, I have to ask her this question. I was waiting for them to bring it up. The air freezes. The silence is dead. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's because, like, Emiya or uh, uh, Kiritsuku is just basically, like, dead to the Einsburn family after he betrayed them. Her silver hair flutters. Very like, she gets up from the bench and turns around. Ilya waves goodbye. I get up. This is all the rest I'll get. We will be enemies again once the sun sets. But... Mata AK, don't kill me if we want to have another conversation. I ask the question as if it's only natural. It's pretty smart on his part, even if he's just like, you know, even if he doesn't actually want to talk to her, it's a way to guarantee his safety from her for at least a little bit. She runs out of the park, but she suddenly stops. She sprints off. She doesn't turn around. I watch until she's out of sight. That must be tough on her part. Like, she was grown, you know, she was basically raised to give up her life, essentially, and she's got to kill this person. But she doesn't seem to have any actual malice towards Shiro. She seems to actually like him. I take my shoes off and go into the hallway. What is the archery club advisor doing coming home so early? Saber sitting Japanese style in a good manner, and Fujini has her head on the table in a bad manner. Fujini looks utterly defeated. I'm curious as to why, but I'm sure it's nothing that important. Saber. 
そういう仕様の方はどうでした学校に見るべきものはありましたかいや異常らしきものはなかったよ信じも来てなかったし学校はいつも通りだとりあえず見て回るべき対象から外していいとは思うんだが With Fujini sitting right there, I can't just come out and say there isn't a master at my school. Hmm, Nanka Nio. Kono Amazupakte, Ameagari, Kuriobini Kakusta Mama, Moidasena Kunata, Ichima, and no Yona Kehaiwa, Machiga in a good Himitsu no Nioi. A lazy dog sniffs the air. Shiro Karash Kaseno Sabita Nioi Gasu. Ayashi. お姉ちゃんになんか隠してるのかにゃーうわぁ<笑> I can't believe it She's acting crazy セイバー、フジネートなんかあったのかこのトラをここまでダメにすんのは並大抵のことじゃないぞえ、いえ、私は何もタイガに元気がないのは空腹だからではないでしょうか He says those awful words quite casually 嘘だ、oh, right. タイガの腕前が知りたいなんて言って、人をボロボロにしたのはセイバーちゃんじゃないのよ。あ、そうですね。フジニにパウンドのテーブル。It must have been a frightening, humiliating experience, and she's hiding behind me even as she glowers at Saber. I don't know when she started calling Saber Saber ちゃん。セイバー、もしかしてフジネと手合わせしたのか。あ、いえ、タイガの時間が空いているのなら、体を動かそうと提案したのです。市内による模擬戦ならば大事は起きませんからタイガも承諾したのですが騙されちゃダメよシロセイバーちゃん確実にやる気だったわ私わかるもん鉄砲知ってるもんあれはやる気もう絶対やる気うわー好きを見せたらバターにされるフジニトランプセイバーま、さかそ I just have to keep reminding myself, this is a teacher, this is an authority figure. Did she go all out against Fujini? え、まあ、つい気を緩めてしまったというか、シロの帰りが遅いことへの反感と、タイガの技量が思いのほか高かったことで、とっさに反応してしまったというか。Wow, that's scary. Fujini is a filth,、uh, sorry, fifth degree black belt in Kendo, but Saber is on another level entirely. Oh, yeah, there's another problem for me. I have to do something about Saber, who's determined to sleep in the same room as me. I'm a teenage guy. I don't know what will happen if I sleep in the same room as someone like her. So, no, she's a very good thing. 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 She's a very g o 今晩よりシローと同室で眠りますがどうか誤解なきをお願いします。フジネはシロを見るのが怖いと言ってました。He completely ignores me, and I hear sounds of her stacking something like telephone books. Yo, Kuki, the Kre. Saber, wa. Nihongo ga wa karanai. Se no! Oh, I knew it. She's doing something like a sleeper hold on me. <laughs> Fujini doesn't know how to go easy, so it's really dangerous for her to choke someone. De, so na bai ja ne! Oi, Fujini, hai te, kimatte ru ka! And then Saber has to just stand there and not do anything. I hear my bones creaking. Continued grappling is Fujini's only reply. I start to pass out, and as a last resort, I start to tap out. But. Hey, you're the guy! What's that? I'm gonna do that, Musco! Oh, Nate, I'm a shiro, or so nafuni, so that it's all boy, and I'm gonna die in the car! 
Oh, I'm really passing out now. Man, why don't my troubles come one at a time? What if it came up dead end? I just got killed by her. I cracked the joints in my neck. Thanks to my training, I only got some bruises, even though I was thrown down to the floor. こう、ひねってからは手を離して受け身可能にしようと思ったんだけど、素人ら思ったより重くて投げるだけで精一杯でさ。当たり前だ。いつまでも子供じゃないぞ。藤根の補償でね、ジャーマンなんかやんなよな
Sakura's face stiffens. She stares at me as if peering into my mind. Sakura doesn't answer. She stares at me silently and then asks me that question. I can't tell her why. I can't tell her that Shinji's a master and anything else would just be a lie. Everyone has their secrets. I'm a guy, so I have many secrets I can't tell Fujini or Sakura. There are things you just can't say, not even to the people most important to you. But that's also why I can't lie. Sakura is an important family member to me, so I can't lie to her. The air feels like it's freezing over. That just makes it more weird knowing that, like, they're gonna have a romance where he just keeps saying, like, she's like family to me, she's like a sister. The silence seems to last forever, and Sakura hangs her head awkwardly. I put my stupid brain to work trying to come up with something to say. Sakura, she doesn't respond. Instead, she just looks at me with a concerned expression. And she clearly states this. Her long hair sways. Sakura nods in response. She answers not with her words, but with a brilliant smile. After eating dinner, uh, one only needs to take a bath and go to sleep. This is common knowledge, barely worthy of mention. So there's no problem. Something so mundane couldn't possibly cause a problem. But... In this big house, is there only one bathroom? That could be a problem. You got three girls, one bathroom. Oh, and a guy. うん、それは大丈夫。さっきお家に電話してさくらちゃんのおじいさんに許可取ったから。先生の家なら安心だ。ご指導よろしくお願いします。だって。そうですか。なら本当に私ここに泊まっていいんですね。そうだよ。で、
<笑>何やっぱりさくらちゃんの話気になる<笑>何言ってんだかそっちの内緒話だろ俺は聞こえてなんかないし気になんかなってないあれそうなんだじゃあ私からいいこと教えてあげるさくらちゃん E の85なんだってさすごいよね去年から実に13センチも大きくなってるんだよ OK like I How do you know that just like such an exact Degree, did she tell you this? Did you measure it? Because, like, you need to measure for like the uniforms for the archery club. What? Shiro, I'm so not that he's a little bit of a show. This is so wrong. This is so weird. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm such a prude sometimes, I know, but I'm just like, ah. Hushibara <laughs> sensei, does this all you got to do in this <laughs> car? Fujine falls to Sakura's counterattack. Sakura's face is red and she's trying to cover Fujini's mouth. Sakura, I understand wanting to prevent Fujini from talking, but if you keep this up, you'll kill her. Sakura gets away from Fujini. Well, good for her for sticking up for herself, naturally. Our eyes meet. <laughs> Sakura hurries out to the hallway. But if she runs like that, I wanted to warn her that she'd fall, but she exceeds my expectations and runs straight into the wall. Sakura, are Was she that eager to get away? Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if all those bruises are just her. She just seems like such a klutz. Sakura disappears into the hallway. <sighs> With Sakura gone, I relax. As tense as things were getting, I would have had to flee the room in embarrassment if she hadn't left first. ふふん。なんだよ。言いたいことあんなら<笑><笑> So you Shiro no Maidato Sakurachamo Yoke Hazkashkatan Janaikana Kakuna cannot deny Anona Sakura Kazukumi Tina Mondaso Zuto Meshot Skutemotic Ishuni Tabetic Kohai Janka. So you go in Teretara Senpai Shikata Ja Shiro was Shikakustakunainda. Attaimada.桜は真珠の妹だぞ。友人の妹を預かってんだから、ちゃんと監督しないとダメだろ。え どこって脱衣所。桜ちゃんに着替え用意してあげないと。シロは花での部屋の準備でもしてなさい。シーツとかちゃんと新しいの出してあげるのよ。ウジニーリーブスアフターギビミンオーダー。あ、ちょっと客
It was a good thing, but I also persuaded myself not to notice it. I've always told myself that she's Shinji's sister, and she only comes to cook for me because she feels guilty about what Shinji did. The accident that caused me to quit the archery club. I injured my shoulder, he complained about the burn, and I took the opportunity to leave the club. And Sakura proposed to help me out until my injury healed. She was like a child back then. She waited for me in front of my house one day, but it took two hours of awkward silence before she worked up the courage to say she wanted to help me. Sakura is cheerful now. I first met her four years ago when I went to Shinji's house after getting to know him. She was quiet and had a habit of hiding her face with her hair. She still is, but she was really lifeless back then. She always looked depressed and would just absent-mindedly stand there. Considering that, it's wonderful to see how Sakura is doing now. Because if I remember, he said four years ago, right? He met her four years ago. If I remember correctly about Fate Zero and what happened to Sakura in Fate Zero when she was just a kid, I can see why she'd be very withdrawn and quiet and depressed and lifeless. It relieves me to see Sakura, the girl who only used to look downcast, smile. That's such a strange thing for her to say. Still don't, still don't like that. I don't really know. She was always just my underclassman, but recently that changed. I don't know if it happened recently or if I only started to notice it just now. Or was she so close to me that I didn't have to notice? <laughs> Why is my mind going crazy from just having Sakura stay over? I'm being inconsiderate of her. I'll finish cleaning and show her to her room. あれ、そういえばさくらはさあ、こちらには来ていませんからまだ入浴しているのではないですかん入浴中ってもう 1 well, perhaps she takes long baths. After all, she has more places to wash. Oh my goodness. I shake my head and sit down at the table. I pour myself some tea and drink it. Hopefully she's okay. Hopefully she hasn't like passed out or something happened to her. I shake off the image in my head and relax. Then... Saber asks me a strange question. Hey, you need to have good eyesight if you're going to be an archer. Yeah, yeah, it has been weird lately. She's just been banging into stuff. I don't know if she's nervous around Shiro or if there's something going on. そうですか。頻繁に壁や柱に体をぶつけていますから、視力に問題があるのではと危惧してしまいました。あ、なるほど。あ、その心配はありがたい。けど、桜は至って健康だよ。その。<笑> さきは疲れてるから危なっかしいだけで普段は俺より<笑> That's a very natural conclusion. Even if you're tired, you still shouldn't be running into walls. Where is Sakura anyway? Even if she's taking a bath, an hour is too long. I... Ooh, should I go check on her or let Fujini do it? Hmm. I feel like depending on what version I'm going to be playing, either, you know, the one that's safe for YouTube or not, we might have some stuff that might be quite different. So we're going to check on her. I should go check on her. If Saber's right, this isn't the time to be hung up on embarrassment. Or why not go have Saber check on her? Sakura! I call out to her from the hallway. There's no reply from inside the dressing room. No, I don't even feel a presence in there. Sakura! Oi! Sakura! Hide I knock on the door. I gradually start to knock harder and I'm banging on the door before I notice. Sakura! Uh -oh. This could just be like a misunderstanding or something. We're going to have an embarrassing situation or something might actually be wrong. My anxiety turns to cold certainty. Something is wrong. I can't go inside, so I'll have to get Saber or Fujine. 
あれ先輩どうしたんですかそんなに慌ててさくらあいや何でもない少し時間がかかってるみたいだから何かあったのかなって時間おかしいな yeah, she sounds really like knackered I know, like taking a hot bath, especially, can just relax you and make you feel more tired, but、uh, something wrong. Something's definitely up with her. Sakura sounds absent minded. It's like, I feel like if, if my memory serves me correctly from the show, like maybe she's had her, she's been having her energy drained, maybe for like Shinji's sake, like to draw some energy to give to Shinji to like help his chances of winning the Holy Girl War, and she wasn't aware of it, and that's why she's just been so tired and like all weird lately. She sounds lost in thought as if she'd just woken up. Sakura, I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 That happened one time.、Uh, I can understand his like anxiety about that. That happened one time with my husband where he was taking a bath, and so like he was taking a while. So I knocked on the door, no response. I like went in and he was asleep. And like that could have ended very badly.、Uh, granted, if he had like gone under, he would have probably woken up, but it was still very scary. <sighs> I crumpled down to the floor. So, stay great. I lean against the wall. It turned out to be nothing, but I'm glad Sakura's okay. And oh my gosh, that feeling of just like your anxiety is just peaked, and then once you realize everything is okay, just the come down from your body, you just feel like all of your energy is just sapped. She should be better once she gets a good night's sleep. Uh oh. Yeah, she passed out. I hear the sound of something heavy falling. It came from the other side of the door. Sakura! There's no reply. I feel no presence on the other side of the door. <laughs> I rush into the dressing room. There, I see Sakura on the floor. Sakura! Sakura! Well, at least she's covered up. I hold Sakura up in my arms. Her body is soft and surprisingly hot. Yeah, she's got like a fever or something. She doesn't seem to be conscious, but she's moaning in pain. Her hand grabs her chest as if wanting to take her shirt off. She gasps. This is way too much for me. Her body is soft and her hair is unraveled. Her shirt is the only thing between my arms and her body. This isn't the Sakura I know. Her shirt sticks to her body and emphasizes her large breasts, and I can't take my eyes off of them. Her breasts move up and down along with her breaths, exposing her white neck. Feels like my heart will leap out of my chest. My head wouldn't be this hot even if I drank a love potion. I realize my mouth is watering and I swallow with great difficulty. <laughs> her beautiful lips make my head go wild. Her body is so hot and soft that it makes me imagine how good it must taste. My head goes blank. It's not a girl's body I'm holding, but a woman's. This isn't the Sakura I know. Then it shouldn't be a problem if I hold her a little. <laughs> I、shake my head. This isn't the time. Even considering Sakura just got out of the bath, her temperature isn't normal. Moreover, uh, moreover, yeah, try that again. Moreover, simple anemia wouldn't make her clutch at herself like that. Sakura! I feel like she's got. I feel like she got some bugs put in her or something. Like something's like trying to. I don't know, like her chest is、uh, something going on. Like that's my thought. I was like somehow like the grandpa put something in her and is making her all weird. I call out to her. <laughs> the hair sticking to her forehead dropped down. Sakura slowly opens her eyes and stares at me. Sakura must still be half asleep, but she's still in a daze. Senpai, 
したんですか部屋まで連れてく言っとくけど暴れるなよ俺だってこれ以上は自信がない Yeah, I lift Sakura in my arms and go out to the hallway. I must have surprised her as she clings onto my neck. I feel something soft on my chest, but I have to ignore it for now. She's like, Are you calling me fat? It's a matter of speed now. I have to carry Sakura to her room before my reasoning disappears. <sighs> Put the medical thermometer down and look at Sakura. Sakura hides her face with a futon. Put another blanket over her just in case and turn the lights off. Pat her on the head and start to walk to the door. See, that's it's like, oh, he's treating her like a little sister. So it's just like, uh, <laughs> then something pulls me back. Mm -hmm. I turn around to see Sakura's holding my sleeve. Sakura? She must have been doing it unconsciously since she jerks her hand away when she realizes it. Sakura jumps up and tries to make an excuse. Even in the dark, I can tell that she's blushing furiously. Sakura, is it scary? Her hair is hiding her face, so I can't see her expression. But right now, she seems just like the shy girl I met years ago. I sit down on the floor. I lay my back against her bed. It's for the best, because I don't think I can face Sakura right now. もうちょいここにいる。しばらくすれば桜も部屋に慣れるだろうし、桜が寝ついたら出ていくよ。正直言うと、桜が無理しないか心配だしな。あと三十分は監視してるから、おとなしく横になってろ。I raise my head. Uh, my hand and flutter it. それじゃ、もうちょっとだけお付き合いくださいね。Feel a slight movement of air. It must be Sakura pulling up her blanket. I'm glad I can help her like this. This is nothing compared to what she has done for me. The sound of the clock ticking echoes through the dark room. I don't know if it's because I have my back to her or because I saw her sad face, but the emotions that assailed me when I carried Sakura have disappeared and I'm able to calmly stare at the clock. And after a long period of silence... Senpai. A gentle voice lights up the darkness. Mm. I nod in response. That must have been good enough. Yes. And Sakura falls asleep peacefully. The lights go out. It's 11 o'clock and the town is going to sleep. Alright, who are we going to run into this time, if anybody? トウサカの話じゃな。厄介な相手だから手は出すなと言ってたけど、町の昏睡事件はそいつの仕業らしい。その真偽は定かじゃないけど、どっちみち確かめなくちゃいけないだろう。そうですね。確かに、ビュー同
龍道寺はもう少し情報を得てから探りを入れるか確かに相手がどのサーバントのマスターかも知らないうちに攻め込むのは無謀だしい,いえその必要はありません龍道寺に今日構えるようなマスターならばおいそれと正体を明かさないでしょう Man, just... 早々に決着をつけるのならば、right like、正面から力で打ち破るのみです Holy girl war you just take out、uh, the big bad at the temple and that would make things so much easier Saber is determined She must believe we have a chance Either way if the master at the temple is responsible for all the recent coma victims we have to do something よし龍道寺に行こうけどセイバー今回の目的はあくまで調査だからな相手のマスターの正体とどのサーバントを連れているかが分かったら一旦引こう情けないが俺にはセイバーの援護ができないその分慎重に行きたいんだ I can't allow Saber to get hurt just like the fight with Berserker If I can't help her directly I have to protect her in some other way わかりました最終的な判断はシロに委ねます戦闘か退却かはあなたが決めてくださいうんそれはそれで嬉しいんだが怖いな毎日倒せる相手が出てきても臆病風に吹かれて逃げ出しかねないぞ俺なるほどそういった場合も考えられますねシロは戦闘経験が少ないですからまあそればっかりは事実だからな自分から地雷原に突っ込むような真似は避けたいしそういう時は注意してくれると助かるはいでは四郎が判断を誤った時は私から忠告をもちろんそれでは四郎のためになりませんから四郎<笑>の判断が間違えていた場合何らかのペナルティを負ってもらうことにしましょうか何らかのペナルティって具体的に言うとどんなささあそれを口にしてはつまらない数少ない楽しみですから私だけの秘密としましょう I like when Saber has a little bit of personality to her she's like got a little bit of light and playfulness to her Ugh, that joke isn't very Saber like it must be Fujini's influence I really do hope it's just a joke しかしシロ私たちはともかくサクラは大丈夫なのですかああ俺もそう思ったんだけど熱を測ってみたら大したことなかったとりあえず一晩ゆっくり休んでもらって様子を見るそうですかでは迷いなく戦いに赴けますね I know I didn't look at the outbuilding Sakura's room is on the second floor I have to leave without her noticing and I have to come back as if nothing has happened 行くぞセイバーここからはマスターとしての時間だ他のことは考えない I leave with Saber at my side high overhead clouds pass before the moon and the darkness deepens the wind is blowing the overhead clouds but、uh, lit by fading moonlight we start running towards enemy territory Okay, something's going down here. Probably、um, assassin. A high pitched sound rings out. The brilliant moonlight glints off the drawn sword as it clatters to the stairs. <laughs> Blood is on his lips. The man on his knees on the stone steps bids his long sword goodbye as it falls away. Oh shit, is that assassin already being taken out? Oh! His arms are the next of all. Holy cow, the servants are just going down like flies in this playthrough. It's like, yeah, 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 you guys have done the previous two routes. You know what's happening, so we're just gonna speed through this. I don't want it to be too short. Like, hopefully, this route will at least be as long as the other ones. Wet with blood, the elegantly patterned fabric of his battle coat looks like a giant red flower. Nanto, Yomoya, Dakatsu Makatsu no Tangui to. Once again, the servant unceremoniously dispatched. At least the,、uh, at least the last route, he got like a cool fight with Saber. Man. In steep contrast to his bloody body, his lips are white. Neither breath nor blood passes his throat now. Sasaki Kojiro's internal organs no longer serve their original purpose. The mountain gate is quiet. The servant that guarded the place, the shadow that appeared, neither of them move. The battle has already ended. Assassin was defeated by someone who came up the stone steps. 
He had no time to identify the intruder as an enemy, let alone cross swords. This someone was on a different level to begin with. That's gotta be, um, Gilgamesh, right? Assassin's body bursts open. Torn, mutilated, and weaponless, he cannot even take his own life. A shadow approaches. It strokes its assassin's cheek with a scornful, cherishing gesture. Okay, Gilgamesh would not do that. Oh, a deformed spider-like hand comes out of his stomach. What? His bones crack. His flesh rips apart. It feels as if his organs are turning into someone else's. <laughs> Who is this? Assassin suppresses the regurgitating blood. The swordsman swallows it and smiles with his pale lips. <laughs> He smiles even though he's denied an honorable death. If one talks about a grand spectacle, his smile is grander than the spawning of this abomination. What is this? And thus, it is summoned, taking the false servant's flesh as its own, the true assassin. Oh shit! Okay, so we're gonna get the actual assassin in this route. This, this is like the false one, right? Just someone that was summoned by, um, Castor. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> what is this? His first cries sound like those of an insect. Oh, an insect! An insect! The black insect that crawled from the swordsman's stomach devours the body that was his own nursery. He giggles while tearing the flesh apart. He laughs while crunching on the bones. <laughs> Whoa! Every time he does so, the insect becomes more like a man and the empty brain acquires human wisdom. And after a while, he is finished sipping every last bit of blood and blesses the birth of his own self, the assassin. The only ones to witness are the chorus of insects and the shining moonlight. So that are- oh, so that's, um... The grand- the grandfather, maybe, did this somehow? I'd be crazy that an old man could sneak up on the assassin like that. The high-pitched birthly- or sorry, the high-pitched birth cry melts into the darkness. An ominous moon. A white skull laughs under the black burned sky. Okay, I love her in the very last room we're introduced to a new character. New assassin. Hopefully he'll put up more of a fight than this one. We run up the stone steps. Saber is already armed. We're both straining our nerves in preparation for an enemy attack. The steps are long and the wind is warm, even though we're nearing the mountaintop. According to Saber, this mountain has a boundary field. Wouldn't that be wild? Maybe, maybe the grandfather did something with Shinji, and is like turning him into a servant, or like because Shinji's just been missing he's just like been out of school no one's seen him for a while so maybe the grandfather's like well I'll make use of you even though like you failed me servants will lose most of their power and magical energy if they enter the mountain from anywhere other than the front gate therefore the only way we can enter is through the front gate but Saber suddenly stops and looks down. Saber, something happened. I was of I not know Saber starts running again. I tilt my head in wonder, but hurry to keep up with her. The compound is dead silent. The wind is strong. All around is thick dark. It'd be crazy if, like, this new assassin took out Castor, and we just, like, are just following just dead servants everywhere, and just like, oh, shit, like, they're just being taken down. Despite the moon overhead, the terrible darkness remains. Because assassin is, like, one of the weaker um, servants in terms of almost everything. Um, so I don't know how strong this one could be. I look up. The moon is there, of course. Its rays shine down on the compound, but the area is still shrouded in darkness. Saber. <laughs> 
こんなに静かなんてことがあるもんか We head for the temple. There's no one around. After confirming the compound is empty, we go inside. Oh! Everyone in the temple is sleeping. What was that thing? They do not even twitch. They don't react even when we touch them. All the monks, without exception, are weakened. No matter how hard we try to rouse them, they just lie there breathing peacefully as if enjoying a dream. Also, yeah, that's right. People live here. That's crazy. The past couple of, like,、uh, Issei lives here. I didn't realize, like, 50 people lived here. So it's like when the place was just being absolutely demolished in the previous roots when we were, like, fighting Gilgamesh. And、uh, where was everybody? <laughs> Hopefully, nobody died. Of course, my classmate is among them. Ryodo Issei is sleeping peacefully as well. We quickly move across the wooden hallway. It's because Saber felt a presence. Saber pointed toward the main temple building. The master responsible for this disaster is there. We step into the shrine. The first thing we see is the red blood spreading on the floor. The center of the temple is wet with blood. There's a man lying there as well. Did they take out Castor's master? His chest must be pierced as the man is dying in the floor red. Or is this,、um, is this assassin? The wound is fatal and the man has lost enough blood to die. He's already dead. I know this man, and it seems he was mastered.、Oh, yep, it is. It is the teacher whose name I can't remember.、Uh, he was the master to the one standing beside his body. Holy shit. I was joking about everybody like, getting taken out. The servant is looking down at her master with a mysterious dagger in hand. Did she. Do, wait, did she. Huh? She did that? Pain lances through my head, accompanied by a sense of apprehension. It's not that I'm scared of this scene. Although she looks terrified of. Wait, is it sticking out of her? Or is she holding on to the blade? Because that's her weapon. Yeah, she's holding on to it. So, like, is she not aware of what she's done? She looks. horrified. That. That dagger is ominous. It seems Saber does not feel anything, but I can tell the dagger has dreadful power. Kesta! Saber readies herself. The servant in purple、uh, does not answer. Because she would never do that to her master. Like, she loved him. I don't know if Saber took it as an opening or as an insult. But she tries to charge. Damn it! Wait, Saber! Shiro, why did you stop? Now, I'm going to take Kesta to the next time. I just I don't know if you're a friend of mine. I don't know if you're a friend of mine. I don't know if you're a friend of mine. I don't know if you're a friend of mine. It's not surprising at the same time that he would have、uh, like, knowledge about all of these weapons, but it's just weird that he just knows that off the top of his head, assuming that this is you know, his own individual route. Not like he takes the information from the previous roots and like he knows everything.、Uh, also, Saber, because we remember what happened to you in the last route when you were her servant. Yeah, don't go near that thing. I don't know if she did, but I'm sure the dagger she's holding has unearthly powers. I mean, she killed her original master. Kesta! Kisama! Aruji ni teo kake dana! Saber rushes in with an angry roar. Castor turns around. With her vigor gone, she looks more like a ghost than a h e r o i c s t e r Is she just gonna get taken out in one hit? Like with Ryder? What is happening? We're already gonna be down. Well, assassin, not technically, because we have a new assassin now, but still. The sword flashes through the air. It slices the rope, but Castor manages to jump back. Say. <gasps> so. He is quite thorough. That's assassin, right? Damare.Arujiuragitamonokotobana.Kitakumonai.Mizukaranokonaiohaji.Kokodesabakarugai.Fatiro.Fatiro.Fatiro.Fatiro.Fatiro.Fatiro.Fatiro.Fatiro.
She starts laughing maniacally. The black-robed Magus puts her dagger away and points at Saber. It just feels like we are just rushing into all these fights. It just... Usually there's a build-up to it here. It's just like, boom. Okay, it's happening. Saber does not even need to answer. She raises her sword without hesitation. Done already? Yeah? Caster disappears. The battle between the two could not be called a battle. Caster's magic was supreme, but it did no good against Saber, who was just Saber taking everybody out in one hit. It's not even a competition anymore. There's no good against Saber, who has some high magical resistance. Saber nullified every magic Caster used and killed her in one blow. Just like how much, how much trouble Caster gave us last time, and here she just taken out so fast. So it's definitely going to be focused on this new assassin. Like that's going to be what we're going to be focusing on. Caster was defeated. マスター、指示を。ああ。そうだな。これ以上ここにいても何もできない。病院の前に小峰に連絡して後を任そう。昏睡してる人たちはそれで助けられるはずだ。We can't save the corpse in front of us. Castor has disappeared, leaving only her master's corpse at our feet. His death will likely be kept a secret. Nobody will know what happened to him, and he will disappear from everyone's memory. Shiro. That's crazy! We're already down to four four masters. Uh, so one of them's Tosaka, one of them's Iliusville, um, one of them is uh, Kyrie. Um, who's, who's the other one that I can't think of? I guess whoever Assassin's Master is, right? です Maybe it's old. Maybe it'll be Sakura. Maybe Shinji again. I don't know. Maybe the grandfather, if he's able to be part of, like, if he's able to be a master. Saber turns and starts to walk, engraving the sight of the corpse into my mind. I follow. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Shiro, how did you do いえ、何も感じませんでした。この周囲に人がいないことは確認したはずです。シロの気のせいではないですか。Also that Shiro is able to sense these things but Saber isn't. I wonder if there's any connection between um, the fact that like Sakura started to feel really ill, especially tonight, and then this whole thing with the insects and the birth of a new assassin. She's right. Tonight will leave a bad taste in my mouth, but it should put an end to the mysterious coma incidents. That should be good enough for tonight. Saber nods in satisfaction and leaves the temple. I follow after Saber, even though it's really hard for me to leave this place. The man who used to be a master lies silently in this holy place. The lead actor has left. The only ones remaining on the stage are silent corpses. And something is devouring the corpses. No bodies remain. The wooden floor turns into a bottomless swamp, swallowing up the man's flesh and spilled blood. It consumes not only the man, but the one who obeyed him. The soul that was servant Castor is swallowed into the darkness. So also I'm wondering if this assassin, if he only, if he only eats dead things, or specifically if he only eats dead masters and servants because they have magical energy. It is not a legitimate blow. The defeated servants are to be consumed by the Holy Grail. If anyone interferes with this balance, it will only bring his own death and destruction. 
It cries silently. It writhes in pain, sobs, exposes itself, and finally consumes the first one. <laughs> it is Sakura! It's Sakura! Oh my gosh, because like in the opening video, like it showed Sakura like she was in so much distress. Holy shit, she she's the assassin? Or it sounds so much like her. No way, no way, no way. It walks on. Lacking a voice, it expresses its pain with the whole of its body. Maybe it's not Sakura. For a second, it sounded so much like her. There are no words nor emotion. It never had those functions in the first place. But it still grieves, as if it has become aware of its existence for the first time. Oh, shit. It's already after two in the morning. Despite my daily training, running to the Ryodo Temple and back is still tiring. Now let's go check up on Sakura and see if she's still here. I bet he's probably going to go check up on her. すぐに戻るから心配すんな。俺だって疲れてるし、早く休みたい。なるほど。桜の容体が気になるのですね。その水を変えないとまずいだろ。せばこそちゃんと隣の部屋で寝てくれよ。襖も閉めて、ちゃ
I run after her. Tosaka doesn't notice. The distance between us doesn't close at all. She's walking and I'm running, but she's gradually getting farther away. By the way, Tosaka must be walking with an extremely long stride. No, she isn't. I'm running fast enough to make me short of breath, but Tosaka is still faster. Her long hair disappears into the school, like a fluttering butterfly. By the way, there's nobody in the school either. Empty. Empty. It's as if the red scenery's been skillfully crafted from sugar. If the red sunlight became strong enough, it would all fuse into a formless mass. By the way. I don't like the way he keeps saying by the way. I hear a woman's laughter. It has a charming quality, like two young girls frolicking together. An image rises in my mind of two beautiful sisters, alike as twins. I open the door and enter the classroom. By the way. I wonder why I chased her here for no reason. Oh, what's this? Okay, oh, it's, uh, it's... What's her name, Mitsuru? This is, um, hmm. Interesting. I feel no surprise, nor any unpleasant feeling. The two of them are embracing like lovers, making me doubt the issue of gender. In this red scenery, I think they seem even more correct this way. But there is one thing that worries me. The fact that Mitsuru's arms are as limp as those of a corpse. I was wrong. She isn't embracing her. She's feeding on her. Oh yeah, so it's like, Assassin seems to be like going, almost like going into Shiro's mind. A praying mantis is devouring a white butterfly. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of insect talk this route, isn't there? A lot of comparisons to, to insects. I'm drawn in, unsteady on my feet. Mitsuru looks like a wax figure. Her life is being stolen away by the second. Tosaka smiling with a lazy look in her eyes. She brings her face closer to Mits. Uh, sorry, I've been calling her Mitsuru. What am I? That's a different. Eh, that's a different one. Uh, Mitsuzuri. Oh my gosh, I. <laughs> I should have caught myself sooner on that. Uh, Mitsuzuri's neck. Mitsuzuri does not resist. Her pale throat exposed to Tosaka. Tosaka's lips. No, her teeth. The wax figure's chest twitches. Though I run to save her, it's as slow as moving through water. I can't make it in time. I can only watch as Tosaka gulps down, and Mitsuzuri crumples to the floor. She licks her fingers. The sight of her tongue coiling about her fingers is bewitching. Far too alluring. She's gonna be like, you're next. Far too alluring. The heavy atmosphere around Tosaka envelops and submerges me. <laughs> Tosaka still licking her fingers. The wet sound flows into my ears. Her voice is thick and filled with desire. I feel so dizzy, it's as if I'm su inside a kaleidoscope. My thoughts are as paralyzed as my limbs. By the way, my body has lost its freedom long before. I neither affirm nor deny it. The woman with the bewitching smile is too attractive to resist, and frightening as if she was about to capture and kill me. A fly being played with by an orb weaver. There is no chance of escape or of opposition. With that, she confirms that the secret really was a feeding. But still, why Mitsuzuri? I'm the main chorus. Her smile is filled with joy. Tosaka reaches out. For some reason, I imagined her slender arms coiling many times around my body. Tosaka's sweet scent envelops me, extending her control even to my lungs. <laughs> Tosaka's limbs are wrapped around me. Her soft, womanly body drowns out the flickering warnings in my mind. I feel as though I'll crumple in her embrace. Her face is close enough to kiss. Her moist eyes are filled with an unsteady desire. Her breathing is deep enough to suffocate me. <laughs> Tosaka's lips touch me. At the nape of my neck, they're warm and wet. The soft sensation creeping along my neck makes me conscious uh, makes my consciousness dissolve like candy. 
sharp fangs pierce my skin. Tosaka's biting into me, just like with Mitsuzuri, her fangs at my neck. It doesn't hurt. They say when a spider consumes its prey, it begins by an, uh, anest <laughs> anesthetizing it. Why can't I say that word? You guys know what I mean. <laughs> This anesthesia sends me into an even deeper trance. The sensation of her lips on my skin feels so good, it's as if I might melt away. The nape of my neck is softly dissolving. With every mouthful Tosaka drinks, my body turns steadily into sugar. She sucks out everything that is inside me, and to replace it, she pours in a nectar that melts my body. It seeps softly into my bones, my muscles, my skin. My throat is already dissolved, leaving me unable to even moan. Everything below my neck is steadily dissolving, and the impossible feeling is deceiving my senses. Tosaka sticks fast to my neck, drinking as her shoulders tremble, as if she's truly happy to be sucking my blood. My dizziness causes my vision to blur and duplicate. I suddenly realize my breathing has stopped and my blood has been drained away so it doesn't circulate my body. In its steed, the sweet, strong liquid from Tosaka soaks my whole body. Oh, I see still being eaten, I hear a voice that I should not- Every time I hear someone say, Oishi, like, delicious, I, I think of, uh, uh, of Oishi from Higurashi. <laughs> Detective Delicious. My brain goes now melted by the voice. Um, <sighs> I was gonna, this is, this is almost as vulgar as the, uh, as the H version of this that I, I've already read through. Which, by the way, if you'd like to check that out, feel free to subscribe to my Patreon. Tosaka whispers as she drains me of blood. It's as though that there's a pump inside of me. The pleasant feeling melts me instead, and my bones are gone. This is the limit. What's gone is gone. My veins are dry, and it should be impossible to wring out another drop. She keeps drinking. There shouldn't be anything left to suck out, but Tosaka continues to gulp down. It's as if she's converting my very life into blood. I see. In that case, this won't end so easily. Drinking endlessly, in the red classroom she persistently sucks from me. My figure is melting away completely, being sucked into nothingness by her. <laughs> A woman's voice reverberates in my mind. As the voice whispers, I'm drying up and withering away in red. Well, that was certainly an interesting episode. So, uh, in in back-to-back -back episodes, we've had two servants die and one master, and the birth of the new assassin. So the assassin we've had previously, he's been a bit of a chump. And I was hoping maybe he'd have a redemption this one, maybe he'd have some cool moments, but nope, just taken out so quickly. But with this whole thing about like the insects, like obviously this has got to be related to the Mato family, right? And Sakura's got to be involved in some way, just the way that she's been out of it, especially right before this new assassin has been birthed. So you got me in trade game. The fact that we're in the, the final route and you're introducing a new servant, I'm very curious about that, and I'm excited to learn more. Hopefully we will learn more about them soon. Will we have another Servant Death next episode? Who knows? Maybe we'll have three in a row. This will be the fastest Holy Grail War ever. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned next week for part five. Until then, bye. Shoutouts to my top tier patrons. Salieri, Revealing Storm, Amlife, Icognito, Saturn Sins, Doublest91, Harry Gazip, Kenju Store, and Linz VA.